What's going on you guys? Chasing here with another movie recommendation. Today I'm picking a pretty good one. Uh, one of my all-time favorites actually. Uh, a movie that unfortunately, even though I consider it one of the best classics of all time, I never see it on those lists. But one of my favorite, favorite things about going on the Universal tour in LA, Universal Studios Hollywood, you get on the backlot tour, and as you go down the main boulevard to get to all the sets and everything, they have a, a barrage of movie posters from specific years that kind of really mean something to them. And every time I make sure I take a picture of this one particular movie frame, because I always hear people asking what it is because all the rest of them are huge, huge names, this one just tends to kind of miss a lot. And it being genuinely my probably top 10 favorite films of all time, doesn't deserve that. This 1950 picture stars Jimmy Stewart, and it's called Harvey. Now, hopefully you can see with the case, that is Jimmy Stewart, James Stewart himself, sitting down, crouched over, and then be next to him is a giant six-foot rabbit or bunny. Uh, of a sh Well, the shadow of a six-foot rabbit or bunny. Um, <clears throat> based on a Pulitzer Prize-winning play, Harvey tells the story of uh, Elmwood P. Dowd, who is played by James Stewart, one of the most lovable men ever to grace the silver screen. And his imaginary best friend, a six-foot rabbit by the name of Harvey. Now, of course, this movie sounds wild and weird, and it is. But this movie really is just about tolerance, understanding, patience, kindness. Uh, really, you know, they... You look for something that reflects to you in art, right? When you watch a piece of art or you watch a movie or you experience something like a painting, you kind of look for something to connect to. And I think for me, the main themes of Harvey tend to be the main themes I think about in life in terms of how do I live my life? Do I feel like I'm patient with people? Do I feel like I'm kind with people? And this story of just this very nice, kind man who has an imaginary friend, people find so weird and disturbing that... Everyone spends all their time getting involved and stopping from this man from being happy. Because it's weird, it's different, it's crazy, right? It's not normal. So you must be wrong. And I, for some reason, get to dictate that. Well, that is exactly the kind of drama that happens in Harvey. Kindness, patience, understanding, it's truly beautiful. Uh, this is the Blu-ray for the 100th anniversary for Universal that they released. I'm going to... I'll do this for you real quick. So, this is the poster that actually appears on the drive when you were at Universal Studios. So, um, I mean, just amazing. Uh, it was nominated for two Academy Awards, uh, and it won for Best Supporting Actress. Josephine Hall uh, is amazing in this movie, and she plays his sister. Uh, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. Good-hearted, well-made, kind, good stuff. I mean, trust me, I've not <laughs> realized this more. The good stuff tends to be dark. It tends to be heavy. It tends to be dramatic. I'm not saying that no comedies are great or anything like that, but if you just look at... I was trying to watch some television programs. I was like, what should I watch? And everything was dark, 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 heavy drama, drama, drama. And sometimes I feel like those light, full-hearted, adorable movies are really, really important. And Harvey is that. Making it into my top 10 films of all time. Universal's 1950 film, Harvey. Make sure to check it out.